literally um, and arrested for braiding hair. What? For braiding hair. Something that has been a, a tradition, an African tradition since, you know, the beginning of time, I'm sure. And she was arrested in this wonderful, you know, United States of America. I for, saw it. <laughs> for braiding hair. Um, I saw it on the news on Channel 5. I was hot. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Miss Isis, if you would just tell us a little bit about your experience and, and about natural hair and, and the, the struggle that's centered around it. Yes. Um, thank you for having me. Yes. Uh, I... I was, I was devastated mm -hmm. in 1997. I thought these people were playing with me. Like, these two ladies came in the shop to get a consultation. And then somehow the consultation turned into them pulling a badge out saying you're under arrest hmm. for braiding hair. I, I thought it was a joke. And I even asked them, the officer, I was like, are you serious? Mm -hmm. And she said, yes, I says, um, I don't want to do this to you, but I have to come and arrest you for breaking hair. I was like, wow. I said, but well, can I call my kids and let everybody know, because they all were young and they were in school. And she said, yes, you can do that. And so basically, she just kind of walked me through it. She told me I had to take off my gay leg. I had my hair wrapped. And she said I had to obey everything that they told me so that I could make it easy for myself. Mm -hmm. And she made sure that the handcuffs were not too tight. And I was just bawling because I was like, it just didn't seem like that could be happening. Right. Like, I've been braiding, like, <laughs> 15 years, 20 years before they even came to my shop in 97. So I had already been grading since 1979. And so from 79 to 97, I was trying to figure out what happened. Right. You know, and, um, but, you know, it was a good thing, like you said earlier, everything happens for a reason. Mm -hmm. And that was my season and my reason to be on the forefront mm -hmm. of natural hate. Yes. Because it is the legacy that we hold so true, but at the same time, we totally don't understand it. Mm -hmm. And during the time when I was feeding the community the natural art of hair, health, and beauty, the word natural was a curse. <laughs> and no one wanted to even refer to their kinky, curly, curly, kinky hair as, as natural. And we were just all so happy to have something so beautiful that we could express in the community. So God knows I didn't know I was doing something wrong. Well, anyway, for 15 years, I, I kind of sued the state of Texas. And they <laughs> pretty much in 2007, they said, you know what? We're not getting anywhere with this. Um, you win. So they grandfathered me. Yes. And they, yeah, That's they grandfathered me and made me um, one of the Texas and matriarchs of natural hair when they asked me to go into their schools to teach natural hair to their instructors. But, mm -hmm. you know, I have an issue with that. I mm -hmm. never do that. I'm not a sellout. You know, mm -hmm. they can come to my school mm -hmm. and I can teach them about natural hair. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I know that's and right. And teach them the techniques <laughs> and the technology of crazy. But, you know, our hair has never been celebrated in this country. Yeah. You know, and I tell everybody the two things that, the one thing that I feel mm -hmm. that is still enslaved on us is our hair. Yes. You know, and the two things that are the most hated in this country, all over the world, is mm. dark skin and, mm. and nappy hair. So we gotta, we gotta <laughs> teach our children culture, because if we don't teach them culture, they don't know that once upon a time in Africa, nappy hair, big noses, and big lips are celebrated. Yes. You know? Yeah. And so after the, you know, we we became captives in this America, mm -hmm. things start to change. And this yes. inferior seed has followed us from generation to generation. We've yes. got a lot of work to do, and we're doing a lot of work. We're doing we some celebrating, work. celebrating, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we that are. is beautiful, and people are realizing it. We and have to. We have to. And, and on that note, what we're going to do is play a song by uh, one of my favorite artists. She hails from the, the DFW area. Um, this is Emotion Brown, and we're gonna come back Emotion. and talk some more. We're gonna talk some more to Isis Brantley today, but uh, right now we're gonna hop into this next jam. This is by Emotion Brown, and it's called Black Girl Atlas. Mm -hmm. Love it, so here we go. 